Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is one of one, but you can call me seven. And today we dive back into the stories of Quincy, Linry, and now Tobias. Um, if you guys can remember from the last episode, they had a really nice, or rather Linry had a really nice conversation with her dad about uh, how she lied about wanting to be more than just a lavender. You guys remember, or if you don't, you can go back and watch. The important thing is that they wanted to show the same field of flowers and the stars to Tobias, and then something bad happened. And we don't know to what extent this is. We don't know how bad it really is. So we're going to dive back in. We're going to get, I think we're getting close to finishing the game. I've said that about so many games and have always been super wrong. So we'll see if that's actually true. Um, but I am worried. I'm worried, but I'm also excited to see how the characterization and the actual plot of this story wraps up. So let's see what we're getting into here. All right. Let's see where this is going. I remember I cried a little bit the last time uh, we played this together. I wonder if we're going to need to grab... If we're... I was just about to say I was wondering if we were going to need to grab the box of tissues. Oh no. Are you going back, Linry, after everything that happened? You decided to travel the world. You made your choice to have your life, despite your illness. You hoped as fervently as you could for something that you never thought you could actually have. And now you're back here, huh? You're really going back to work? Damn. Damn. She's really all the way back in, huh? She's not, doesn't seem like she's going home that much either. Oh, well, of course, she's living here now. What about Quincy? Are you just ignoring him? What was the name of the... The doctor that died? After everything went wrong. It's been a minute, so I'm struggling to remember some of the names, but... I've still got a lot of what happened in my head. And oh my god, what is happening here? Did they develop this all? Look at all this. Look at all this stuff that they're doing. Oh, they're getting older. Oh, she has been, she is doing this for years. Years and years of research and work and development. Is this data meant to be, oh my God. Has this data been the span of... I don't even know whose memories we're in anymore. I'm pretty sure we're in... We're in Linry's, right? Has this data been the span of her life this whole time? She's old now. They've been doing this for... Decades now, right? I think? Is all of this going, is where we started in media res, is that going to be the culmination of all of this? Where she does this for the presentation and it works, but something goes wrong perhaps? 
Linry, everything's ready for tomorrow's presentation. The tests all went through without a hitch. Great work, Hal. You should go get some rest. They'll be here early tomorrow. You're still working? Yeah, one more test never hurts. <laughs> I'm not gonna argue with you there. Oh, they're old now, man. They've gone white. Always a distinguished look when you go white. Um, your hair changes color like that. You test it on yourself, huh? Okay. I still don't know if we're in the present or the future of the world of the To The Moon trilogy. So I don't know what this machine is meant to do. At all, really. Welcome back, Doctor. Is that right, Spot? Run a stress... Excuse me. Run a stress test via artificial memory convergence. Please choose test entity reference. Search memories for snow. Wait, there. Go back. Oh. God damn it. And then you're in it. Is this what it's like to traverse memory? Like, is this what it really looks like when you traverse memories? Did she just reach out towards Quincy? This memory was so sweet. It truly was so romantic and... Wait, what's happening? Is she... Erasing the memory? Or is she just watching it? Is she rewinding it? Entity selection confirmed. Keep personality and traits? Yes. Keep extrapolated memories? No. Use generic memories. Wait, what the- what the fuck is this? What is this? Linry, what are you doing? Is Quincy even still alive? Please select memory setting for artificial insertion. It doesn't matter. Choose one for me. Memory loaded. Visit at Yu Haynes estate. That's fine. So none of his actual- so- so I was right. Well, not the presentation necessarily, but this is the reason that we started the game where we were. That's why things felt out of place, and that's why this was happening. And then she inhabits her own body. Goes in before him, before the memory starts. What is the goal of this? What is the purpose of this machine? Of all their research, years and years of dedicated research, initiating foreign entity to memory setting. Entity activation in three, two, one. And then it's time to go in. And this is where we started the game, yes? Okay. And now he's seeing it. He's seeing it happen. Okay. What's the point of showing him all this? Yeah, you're- you pushed him to see all this, didn't you? 
So, you've reached the end. Are you actually... I know you have more questions, but I have an urgent theory that needs your help testing. Would you come back to the mansion with me? I don't really have a choice, do I? Oh wow. This suddenly feels hostile and slightly confrontational and very cold and detached. This is not what I imagined it would be. Act 3. Oh yeah, no subtitle? Just Act 3? Okay. So now we know everything. And I remember at the beginning that she said that, you know, maybe like it, was, it wasn't good for her to do this or something like that. Something to that effect? Something to the effect of, um, like, oh, well, we're going to restart this anyway, but you might as well, like, learn all this. So we went through all of that to learn what happened. And now... Now what? Downstairs. What is it? I mean... What isn't it? For one, I, I, I guess I'm, I'm still trying to get used to this being the real you. Hey, I, I didn't mean that in a bad way. And even then, why would you care about what I think anyway? Oh my. I... I... I don't like this man. I'm, I'm not a fan. What is it that you're doing? Whoa. So now we're back in real time. Entity deactivated. All of the entities are deactivated, yes. Why do they all end up murdered in the- what- what is this? Is this- is this isn't a dreamscape? What- what is this? As a whole. She seems preoccupied. Maybe I could sneak around first? Not yet. We can- if the game so deems it, we will sneak around and see if there's anything to be seen. Okay, he's gone outside. What the pug? This fountain. Wasn't there something on it? Yes. I guess the place is just getting more and more weird now, but... Maybe I should ask Linry if I get a chance. Yeah, Faye was on this, wasn't she? I'm pretty sure. Holding, um, a memento? Yes, I'm decently sure that was the case. All right, Lenry, what have you got for us? Hey, it's almost ready. What is? And what's all this? I've been compiling a batch test case to check for certain... suspicions. It was about done, but you were out too soon. Too soon? It felt like I was in there for quite a while. You were in a separate data stream where time is experienced differently. It's only been a few minutes over here. Resuming compilation, 67%. Actually, while we're waiting, I have a question for you. For me? Yes. Given what you've seen, Given what you've seen, am I a terrible, selfish person? <sighs> don't give me this choice. Don't, don't give me this. Your entire relationship was built on the fact that you were both willing to try. At least from what I remember and what I have interpreted. Qu Quincy knew what he was getting into. He said, he said as much. He chose this. 
Well, not this, but you guys know what I mean. And Linry, she dared to hope. God forbid that she hoped for a life that she once thought she could never have. I guess she just left him, didn't she? The man who loved her so much. Once Tobias was gone, she drowned herself in her work. Sort of used this as an escape. And years and years passed. Does that make her selfish? I don't know. That's a really, really hard question to answer. Are you a selfish, terrible person? Selfish, maybe, but humans are. Some more than others, but they just are. That's what, that's what humans are like. Terrible? No. I'm going to say no, but. I don't think that's fair to say. I mean, I can't say that you did all the right things, but I don't know how many people could, could have if they were actually in your shoes. But selfish. I suppose so. Oh, that's great. That was exactly what I said, actually. I wasn't... I mean, Quincy wasn't exactly altruistic either, but... He really did seem to try his best to put your happiness above all else. Is he recognizing that he's not Quincy? Well, fully, anyway? Linry? Compiling 72%. I see. Well, we still have time, so I'll return the favor. Anything you'd like to ask me? Why? Hmm? Why do you even care what I think? I mean, if I am what I am, why are you even talking to me as if I'm actually him? Because you... Because I'm supposed to be testing your believability. That's all. That's why this feels so cold and detached. Because this is all for a test for a presentation that's to take place tomorrow. Is that so? 76%. Now, would you like to ask any actual questions while there's time? Yes, of course. Yeah. Sink. Oh, what do we got? The real Quincy missing fountain statue. I think we need to ask about the missing fountain statue. That much is true. So we'll ask about the murders. I want to know about the murders. So, what's with the murders happening here? I mean, this simulation is based on your memories, right? How come I didn't see it in the flashbacks? Because the murders never happened. At least, I don't remember it happening. Which is strange, because it seems to be unavoidable in this simulation based on my memory. Did you figure out why? Not yet, but with what I'm setting up, I'm afraid I'm about to. 82%. Okay. 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 Let's ask about the real Quincy. I hope you don't mind me asking, but quite a few years skipped by at the end of that montage. What happened to me? Er, uh, <clears throat> I mean, uh, Quincy. I don't know. You don't know? I don't. It's been many years since we've talked. After everything that happened, we just went our separate ways. Or perhaps more accurately, I did. 88. It's almost complete. There's time for just a couple more questions. Give me the missing fountain statue before I miss it. Oh yeah, I, I just saw something weird outside. You know that fountain? There was- What the f- What the hell, game? Come on! That's messed up! I went around to everywhere I could go, trying to open all the doors and look for things that I could interact with, and that was one of the things that I found, and now you're not letting me- Aww. What the frick? Alright, time tunnel- time tunnel room. 
That room upstairs that you sent me in, what's so special about it? I've just never been to that particular room in all my years here, that's all. Since this place is based on my memories, it's just a void space in there. So I used it. Honestly, there are still a lot of issues with these reconstructions. The exterior seems to be based on a more recent memory of it than the interiors, for one. Still a lot of work to be done. 94. One last question and we're starting. Okay. So, the only other things that we haven't gotten are sync time travel and double Linry. Um, I will ask about double Linry. So, there really were two of you in this mansion earlier? Well, in the first run, I assumed direct control of myself in this memory, so there was only one. But in the resets after the murder, I had to scout and debug, so I spawned another token me. We were only able to see this me because we were both from the first spawn before a reset. So yeah, me and the token me. Shit. Well, here we go. There go the you Haynes folks. Okay, it's ready. I've prepared a batch of test scenarios with particular variables. Notably, the location of Dr. Haynes and Dr. Yu and their intent. As for you, you'll be my observer. Observer? Yep. All you have to do is go into the rooms and look at them. That's easy. Look at them to check if they're dead. That's easy but less appealing. It's for science. Oh, then, um, yay? Indeed. You ready? <laughs> well, I guess I don't have a choice. Definitely yes. Now check the bathroom. The bathroom? Stuff them there first. Can you not? That bathroom is like the only sanctuary I had left. It's fine. I'll be monitoring and waiting right out here. Besides, you need to learn to get out of your comfort zone. Oh, we're way beyond the very concept of comfort zone. Well, are they dead in the bathroom? They are not. Hello. Uh, I see them. Good. Now come back out. Hello? They don't seem responsive. Now go back in. So alive or dead? Alive, I think? They aren't moving or responsive, though. Yeah, I've set them on a different layer. What, like Photoshop? Oh. Go back in and out a few more times and report their status. All right. Uh. Whoa. Oh, God, ew. Now... Still alive, but they're closer. Oh, that was me. Sorry, move them for convenience. Go on, again. They're dead now, right? Perhaps? Yeah, they're very dead. Oh, shit! Lin- Linry! What is this? Dead, Linry! They're- they're dead! Ugh, you sure? Yes! <laughs> yes, oh god! This could be bad. It is bad! They're dead! <laughs> okay, I'm going to log off and get Dr. Kim to come and help. Just check the other rooms while I'm gone, alright? Wait, you're leaving me alone to check for more bodies? What's the issue? You've already seen much worse earlier. Besides, you know they're not real. I know I'm not real! I mean, in terms of realness, they're just as real as me! Fair point. Okay, then. Here. Oh! A cat. Oh, it's the long cat. Oh! Your bodyguard. My... Bodyguard? Yeah, he protect. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll be back soon. Good luck. Uh, there you go. Alright. Well, hopefully he'll protect me. I got my little homie! Tell me, do you really protect? Oh! You don't protect. Oh! What the? I am system- Oh, uh, a rice bot. I've seen you in her memories. Good. System supervises Quincy- Excuse me, while Linry is gone. Do you now? Guess I'm gonna be babysat by a giant talking sound wave. Do not be afraid, for this is not my final form. Behold, a form even you may comprehend. It's right spot, right? Oh! Yes, it is. 
Ricebot? Indeed. Ricebot was merely the humble beginning of my AI, but now I am much more. I am creator of worlds and cooker of rice. <laughs> taste my rice. <laughs> uh, taste it. I mean, I love good rice. Good rice made in a rice cooker. Oh, you gave it to the cat. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Holy shit. This, this, this is the tastiest rice I have ever eaten. <laughs> Slamming the floor. How could something taste this good? Nobody knows. I need to know. There is no way to know. <laughs> But when Quincy completes mission, reward is more rice. What are we waiting for then? Let's go find them. Rice bot sis system, join the party. Oh, oh, uh, yeah, you can come too. Cat question mark, join the party. Now let us proceed to the party hall, the kitchen, and the study repeatedly until they die. There ought to be a better way to put that. And then we got the homies in here, right? Yeah, we got Quincy, Cat, and Ricebot. All right. Nope, they're in here now. Please exit room to reset and then enter again. What is the point of this? I mean, we're just re resetting until they're dead. Why not just make them dead? It is not about them dying, but when they die. Each reset is configured with specific conditions. Patterns will be derived from experiment data. Hypothesis will be tested. Cause will be determined. Hypothesis. All right, let's just go back in and out, yeah? Still alive. Still alive. So they're still doing their thing. Okay, can I talk to the cat? Wait, are, are you getting longer? What do you even do? Oh my god, I think he is getting longer. Anomaly detected. There you go, they're dead. Okay, cool. It is a little scary, but all right. Wait, am I supposed to talk to you? Death anomaly observed. Okay, sh sure. So now they're dead in the uh, the hall. And now it's time for the kitchen. Okay. Hello? Hey, if you're gonna be here too anyhow, why do you even need me here? Because Quincy is also test subject. In addition, data shows Quincy presence alters results. I change things just by being here? Why? Inconclusive. More data needed. What about you, man? Yeah, you're you're definitely getting longer. And they're dead. Okay. Anomaly detected. Got it. And we're moving on. Alright. Cat is still, in fact, getting longer. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Hover time. <laughs> Stop. Hover time. <laughs> Ricebot's the best. Oh my god, I love Ricebot so much. He's he's wonderful. Okay, dude, that cat is getting really long. Okay. Wait, it just occurred to me. By doing the resets, am I technically the one killing them? Quincy is not the one doing the reset. Oh. Phew. However, Quincy is cause of death by observation. Damn it! Wait, what do you mean? Something something principal? Professor's status only calculated upon observation. Quincy observation causes status. Status is death. Therefore, Quincy causes death. Okay, I don't like that. So long. But why? Still alive. And still alive. Still alive. And dead. Okay, got it. Anomaly detected. Their eyes are horrifying, man. Awaiting Linry for reports. And you're still long cat. Okay. Well, it's time to head downstairs then. And see if she's down there. Or back down there yet. There Linry, hey. What's what's wrong? Linry, you're back. Linry? What's going on? Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? Uh, Linry? You're, you're scaring me. Look at her eyes. I just need a moment. What happened? What did you see out there? 
nothing. Hey, you... You can tell me. It's... It's not like I'm gonna run with it. Linry? Linry, initial tests were completed. The hypothesis holds. Continue. Yeah. I'll be there soon. Affirmative. Proceeding to party hall. The hypothesis? Please proceed to the party hall. Jesus. Okay. Oh? And then all the folks are here. It is starting. We finally get to see what they're unveiling. I mean, we finally get to see... Yeah, 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 no, we did see this already, but... They demo the machine here, right? I don't think the replay got that far, though. This is the furthest point. Huh? Death is variable, but... All death tangents linked to this moment. When they demo the machine for the guests? Affirmative. Data predicts if we leave this room now, everyone will die. Everyone here? Will die, data predicts. Now let us leave this room. What, do we have to? It is imperative. Leave this room and come back to confirm. Please leave and come back to this room. The scene will not be reset and deaths are expected. Okay, Jesus Christ. Fine. Lenry's gone. Data shows Lenry is offline again. She will be back. In the meantime, please return to the party hall. And they're all dead. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Deaths confirmed. Resetting room. Okay. Wait, if you just reset the room while we're in here, why did we have to leave and come back every time earlier? Leaving was not necessary for a reset. Leaving was necessary for death. What does all this mean? I'm so confused. What? Whenever we look, they do not die. Oh, what happened? Oh no, that was Louie. Uh, I'm not certain. This isn't supposed to... It's never happened before. Under this scenario, equipment damage occurs. Core computing unit and basement is destroyed. Destroyed? How? Data unknown. Resetting. Now the final test. Quincy will go to basement. The core computing control room? Affirmative. Both sites will be observed. I'm gonna stop doing the voice a little bit. It is a little annoying. Data anomaly is expected. What kind of anomaly unknown? Guess I'll find out then. Do you remember the entrance? The pool table? Yes. It's the way down. Please proceed. Oh, wait. Wait. Is it rice? Oh, rice? It is dangerous to go alone. Take this. Oh my god. <laughs> no! Oh! No, no, it's okay! Oh... Oh, he deactivated him. Cat joined the party. I mean, sure. Why not? All right. So we need to press the button. And then down we go. Cool, I guess. Me and Long Cat. Together at last. This is wild. What is going on? I don't even have enough in my brain to compute and sort of theorize or speculate about what's happening, guys, but... Okay, we're down. Kind of creepy with no one here, though. Okay, let's go over here first. I don't remember where the core computing stuff is. This is just... A lab. And then... I believe their office is down here? Their busts are over here. Yes. Can I screw with anything at all? I do not believe so. And then this should be the cafeteria, right? Yeah, it says cafe right there. Anything over here? It is a nice place. And then the bedrooms? And this is supposed to be Linry's room, yes? Nothing to discover here. What the pug? Oh, it's just a long hallway. 
Long hallway for long cat. And now we're just moving, no running. We just get to keep walking. What was that? Oh! Did you? Did you hear that? Something's not right. I can't run. I can't sprint. Okay, you know what? Stop! Just stop it! Nice. What the fuck is this? Why is the corridor so long? Where does that light keep coming from? And what's with all the weird sounds? You hear that? Freaking creepy wood creaking! How? It's all metal and concrete here! There is no wood! <laughs> He's going crazy. And you! And you! What do you even do? How are you supposed to protect? You don't even have a knife! You're just a cat! And now that I think about it, you aren't even that long! Oh, we made the cat cry. If only you were actually helpful. Oh. Okay, look. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. It's just... It's just been a rough day, you know? I mean, first all the murders, and then I find out that I don't exist. Even for an optimist, that stings. On the upside, I guess it really can't get any worse from here. Hmm, <laughs> yeah. Come on, let's go finish this. Whatever's up ahead, I'll take it. Oh, uh, wait, what was that? Are they making him very long? He's evolving, god damn it. Dude, <laughs> yeah! Boom, 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 yeah! You've. you've changed. You've become something else. Something. more. You're. you're taking the lead? At the darkest hour, you've really come through for me. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. Oh, the head bats. All right, let's go observe the shit out of that computer. Am I now the... I'm now the... Okay, cool. All right, well, I think this is actually a nice little cliffhanger to leave it on. Um, there was so much happening, and I am just so worried about the emotional implications of all of this. I don't know what's happening. Like, I don't know what is actually going on. I can't tell what the purpose of this is, and Linry's being very sad and cryptic, so we're gonna have to see. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I definitely did, and I will see you guys in the next video. So for now, have a good rest of your day, and I will see you soon. Bye!